Passion Travail is a chain specializing in everything related to travel, street food, and like subscribe if you like the content. Seswa, a traditional Botswana dish made from slow-cooked and shredded beef or goat meat, usually served with maize meal or pap. Seswa is a traditional Botswana dish made from beef. It is considered one of the national dishes of Botswana and is often served at special occasions and gatherings. Seswa is prepared by boiling beef meat with salt until it becomes tender and easily shredded. The meat is then traditionally pounded with a large wooden pestle and mortar, but nowadays it is more commonly shredded or finely chopped using a knife. Seswa is typically served with a thick, starchy porridge called pap or sadza, which is made from maize meal or sorghum. The dish is often enjoyed with a side of cooked vegetables such as spinach or cabbage. Seswa has a rich, savory flavor and is known for its tender, melt-in-your-mouth texture. In Botswana, preparing seswa is often a communal effort, with multiple people taking turns pounding or shredding the meat. It is a dish that brings people together and is enjoyed as a symbol of unity and celebration. Seswa is not only popular in Botswana but also in neighboring countries such as South Africa, Namibia, and Zimbabwe, where it may be known by different names. It is a delicious and hearty dish that showcases the culinary traditions of the region. Mopane worms, these are caterpillars of the emperor moth and are a popular snack in Botswana. They are usually dried, seasoned, and eaten as a crunchy delicacy. Mopane worms are the larval stage of the emperor moth, scientifically known as Gonambrasia balina. They are a type of edible caterpillar found in the southern African region, particularly in countries like Botswana, Zimbabwe, Namibia, and South Africa. Mopane worms have been a part of the diet and traditional cuisine of indigenous communities in these areas for centuries. Here are some key characteristics and facts about mopane worms. Appearance Mopane worms are large caterpillars, typically growing up to 10 cm in length. They have a cylindrical body with distinct segments and are covered in tiny hairs. The coloration can vary but is often shades of green, brown, or black. Life cycle, the emperor moth lays its eggs on the leaves of mopane trees, Colophosperma mopane, which are the primary food source for the caterpillars. After hatching, the larvae feed on the mopane leaves for about four to six weeks before they burrow underground to pupate. The pupal stage lasts for a few weeks, after which the adult moth emerges. Culinary use, mopane worms are highly valued for their nutritional content and are considered a delicacy in many African cultures. They are rich in protein, healthy fats, and minerals such as iron and calcium. Mopane worms are often harvested during the rainy season when they are most abundant and are either consumed immediately or preserved for future use. Preparation and cooking Before consumption, mopane worms are typically sun-dried, smoked, or boiled to remove moisture and kill any bacteria or parasites. They can be cooked in various ways, including frying, sautéing, or adding them to stews or sauces. Mopane worms have a unique taste and texture, described as a combination of meaty and crunchy. Borwer's Rolls, grilled or barbecued spicy beef sausages served in a roll with various condiments like tomato sauce, onions, and relish. Borwer's Rolls are a popular South African street food and a delicious way to enjoy traditional Borwer's sausage. Borwer's, which translates to farmer's sausage, is a flavorful, Coarsely ground sausage made from a mixture of beef, pork, and spices. Here's what you need to know about Borwer's Rolls. Borwer's, the key ingredient in Borwer's Rolls is the Borwer's sausage itself. It is made by mixing ground beef and pork with a variety of spices such as coriander, cloves, nutmeg, black pepper, and sometimes additional herbs and spices like thyme or allspice. The mixture is then stuffed into natural casings and typically formed into long, spiral shaped sausages. Preparation. Borwers is traditionally grilled over an open flame or bray barbecue to enhance its smoky flavor. The sausage is cooked until it is nicely browned and cooked through, while still retaining its juiciness and tenderness. Serving. Borwers rolls are typically served as a street food or at social gatherings, sports events, or festivals. A Borwers roll consists of a cooked Borwers sausage, which is placed in a long, crusty bread roll, similar to a hot dog bun. It is then topped with various condiments and garnishes, depending on personal preference. Condiments and garnishes. The toppings for Borwer's rolls can vary, 
but common additions include tomato and onion relish, a tangy and slightly sweet relish made from tomatoes and onions, often with added spices and herbs, chutney, a sweet and spicy fruit-based sauce. Similar to a thickened fruit preserve, mustard, a tangy and slightly spicy condiment made from ground mustard seeds, mayonnaise, a creamy and tangy sauce made from eggs, oil, and vinegar, hot sauce. For those who enjoy some heat, various types of hot sauces can be added to give the roll an extra kick. Seswa sandwich, a creative twist on the traditional seswa dish, where the shredded meat is served in a bread roll with sauce and pickles. Seswa is a traditional Botswana dish made from slow-cooked, tenderized beef or goat meat. While it is typically enjoyed on its own, it can also be used as a filling for a flavorful seswa sandwich. Here's how you can prepare a seswa sandwich, seswa, start by preparing the seswa meat. You will need about 1 to 1.5 pounds, 450 to 680 grams, of beef or goat meat, preferably a cut with some fat and connective tissue for added flavor and tenderness. Place the meat in a large pot and cover it with water. Add salt and any desired seasonings, such as garlic, onion, or bay leaves, to enhance the flavor. Bring the water to a boil and then reduce the heat to low. Allow the meat to simmer gently for several hours. Until it becomes very tender and can easily be shredded, once the meat is fully cooked, remove it from the pot and let it cool slightly. Use a fork or your hands to shred the meat into small, bite-sized pieces. Sandwich assembly. Once you have the seswa meat ready, you can assemble your seswa sandwich. Here's how. Choose your preferred type of bread for the sandwich. Popular choices include soft rolls, baguettes, or sliced bread. If desired, lightly toast the bread to add some texture. Spread a layer of your favorite condiments on the bread, such as mayonnaise, mustard, or chutney, to enhance the flavors. Place a generous amount of the shredded seswa meat onto one side of the bread. You can also add additional toppings such as sliced tomatoes, lettuce, onions, or pickles for added freshness and crunch. Close the sandwich by placing the other bread slice on top of the filling. Serving. Serve the seswa sandwich immediately. It can be enjoyed as a lunch or dinner option or even as a satisfying snack. Morogo, a side dish made from leafy greens, such as spinach or cowpea leaves, sautéed with onions, tomatoes, and spices. Morogo, also known as African spinach or wild greens, is a leafy vegetable commonly consumed in various African countries, particularly in southern Africa. It refers to a group of different edible greens, including cowpea leaves, amaranth, pumpkin leaves, and other indigenous leafy plants found in the region. Here's some information about morogo, nutritional value. Morogo is highly nutritious and rich in vitamins, minerals, and fiber. It is a good source of vitamins A, C, and E, as well as minerals such as iron, calcium, and potassium. Consuming morogo as part of a balanced diet can contribute to overall health and well-being. Culinary use. Morogo is a versatile vegetable that can be cooked in various ways. It is often used in stews, soups, and sautés. The leaves can be blanched, boiled, or stir-fried, depending on personal preference and the specific recipe. Morogo has a slightly bitter taste, similar to other leafy greens, and can be combined with other ingredients to enhance its flavors. Cultural significance Morogo has a long history of consumption in African communities and is considered an important traditional food. It is deeply rooted in the culinary heritage and cultural practices of many ethnic groups. Morogo is not only valued for its taste but also for its connection to nature and sustainable food sources, health benefits. As a leafy green vegetable, morogo offers numerous health benefits. It is a good source of dietary fiber, which aids in digestion and promotes a healthy digestive system. The high content of vitamins and minerals in morogo supports the immune system, promotes healthy bones and teeth, and contributes to overall vitality.